In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of the phosphate ion, PO4, 3 minus. So the first thing we need to do when drawing any Lewis structure of a polyatomic ion is that we need to add up the number of valence electrons in this ion. Now, phosphorus is found in group 5A of the periodic table, so it has five valence electrons. Oxygen is a calcogen found in group 6A of the periodic table, and it has six valence electrons. But since we have four oxygen atoms, we need to multiply six by four. And then we need to add the net charge. Since the net charge is negative three or three minus, we need to add three electrons because of that. So we have five plus four times six is 24, and then plus three. 5 plus 24 is 29. 29 plus 3 is 32. So this particular polyatomic ion has 32 valence electrons. Now, 32 is a multiple of 8. And that is significant because it tells us that the central phosphorus atom doesn't contain any lone pairs on it, any dots or electrons. It only contains bonds. And this trend for the most part works if there are no hydrogen atoms in the molecule. So we're gonna put phosphorus at the center and then we're gonna place the four oxygen atoms around it. Now we need to know how many bonds phosphorus is gonna form. Phosphorus has five valence electrons. It could form three bonds to get the three electrons that it needs, or it could form five bonds, giving away the five valence electrons that it has. Because phosphorus is bonded to something more electronegative than itself, like oxygen, it's going to give away the electrons as opposed to acquire the electrons. So it prefers to give away the five valence electrons that it has to oxygen, rather than trying to acquire three to satisfy its octet. So in this example, phosphorus is going to have five bonds instead of three. Another way in which we could determine why phosphorus is going to have five bonds is using the formula that helps us to calculate the formal charge of an element. It's equal to the valence electrons minus the sum of the bonds and dots of that, of that atom. Phosphorus has five valence electrons, and because this polyatomic ion has 32 electrons, we know that there's not going to be any dots or lone pairs on a central phosphorus atom. So D is zero. Now, in order to draw the most stable Lewis structure, we want a formal charge of zero. The only way we can get that is if we use five bonds. So in this example, phosphorus is going to have five bonds. So that means three of the oxygen atoms will be single bonded, but one of them will be double bonded. Now, for those of you who want to master the art of drawing Lewis structures, I have a two hour video on YouTube that is really dedicated to that. If you really want to understand how to draw these things and the rules that go behind them. So if you type in Lewis structures, organic chemistry tutor, look for a two hour video on YouTube. It should come up. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now, going back to this polyatomic ion, Whenever oxygen has one bond, it's going to have three lone pairs and a negative charge. Now, whenever oxygen has two bonds, it's going to have two lone pairs and it's going to be neutral. So notice that the overall charge is negative three due to the three negative charges on the oxygen atom. Now, phosphate has many resonance structures. This is simply one of them. You could move the double bond from here to here, and that will be a resonance structure. In order to draw a resonance structure, you need to move the electrons, but not the atoms. So this is one example of a resonance structure. Now, these two resonance structures are, for the most part, identical in energy. They're the same. 
Now phosphorus, I mean phosphate, has resin structures that are not the same. For instance, we could break a pi bond and move those two electrons to this oxygen atom. If we do that, we're going to get this structure. Here phosphorus has four bonds instead of five and every oxygen atom has a negative charge. Now using the formal charge equation where it's equal to the valence electrons minus the bonds and the dots, if we were to calculate the formal charge on phosphorus, it's going to be its five valence electrons minus its four bonds and it has no dots on itself. So we would get a plus one charge. Notice that if we add the plus one charge and the four negative charges, we still get a net charge of three minus. So this over here is an acceptable Lewis structure. Both of these are. However, one of them is more stable than the other. Which one is the more stable Lewis structure, the one on the left or the one on the right? The one on the left is known as the major resonance contributor. It's the more stable Lewis structure. The reason being is there's less separation of charge. Here, phosphorus has a plus one charge and the four oxygen atoms has a net charge of a total charge of minus four. In this example, phosphorus has a charge of zero and the, the two, three oxygen atoms have a total charge of minus three. And so there's less charges with the structure on the left, which means it's more stable. Whenever you have a Lewis structure that has more separation of charges, that Lewis structure is less stable and more reactive. So this is still an acceptable Lewis structure of phosphate, but it's not in its most stable form. This right here is the best Lewis structure for phosphate. So that's going to be the answer for this video. That's how you can draw the Lewis structure for that polyatomic ion.